In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Meeting Minutes template in Word. I'll specifically show you how to create a Meeting Minutes template in Word just like this one. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's create our template. Have an open Word. I go over to insert then I click on quick parts go to document property then I click on title next I go to home and I'm going to change the font size so I click on font drop down the arrow and I choose 28 and I align it to the right next I click aside then I hit enter next I go over to insert again then I click on date and time. I'm going to use this date format, the one with time. And I make sure update automatically is checked so that my date and time will always be automated anytime I open this document. I go ahead and click on OK to insert the date and time. Next, I hit enter. Going back to home, I make it align left, the insertion point. I hit enter once more. Next, I go to insert, click on tables, then I click on insert table, the number of columns, I need it two, and the number of rows, I need six. Then I go ahead and click on OK to insert my table. Next, I go ahead and enter my text in this column. So I have meeting called by, so I'll go ahead and type the rest of the text. Okay, I finished typing my text. I go outside the table, hit enter, then I type agenda topics. Next, I go over to insert again, click on table, insert table, number of columns, I make it three, and then number of rows, four. I click on OK to insert my table. Next, I go ahead and enter the titles of my columns. time allowed agenda topics and finally presenter perfect I come out of this table hit enter I type discussion next I go over to insert table so this time instead of going to insert table I'll use this so I'll just use one by three table and that's it i come out from the table hit enter next i need conclusion and the same table so i can just go ahead and copy the text in here including the table so i click on copy click aside click on paste i'll just go ahead and change this text to conclusion perfect and i click down here Next, I go over to insert, I click on table, and I'm going to use 3 by 3 click, and I go ahead and enter the titles, action times, person responsible, and finally, deadline, oops, I come out from this table, hit enter, finally, I go to insert, table, and I'll get 2 by 3 Observers, resource persons, and finally special notes. Observers is longer spelled. Okay, now I've inserted all the tables I need. Now time to customize my work. So I'll start from title. I just select it. Then I click on font color. And I go ahead and choose the font I want to use. I click on this. Next, I make all these capital letters. So I highlight all. Then I go over to change case and I choose uppercase. Next, I reduce this column by pointing on this line and drag it right there. Awesome. 
I'm going to highlight all of this again. Then I go to table design and the shading. I choose my ascent green. Perfect. And the text, I'm going to change it to white. Maybe I can make it bold to stand out. Awesome. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and increase the height of my rows. So I select the whole of the table, go to layout and the table tools, and I click on the up arrow on height. I'll give it 0.7 centimeters. Then agenda topics, I'll increase the font size to 16 and I'll make it bold. Next, I highlight the whole of this row. Then I change the text to white, go to table design, and I give it this shading. I go back to home and I change the case to uppercase and bold it up. Next is discussion, so I'll highlight it and conclusion as well because I want to give it the same formatting as this. So the size I make it 16 bold, awesome. Going down, I highlight all this. Then I change the font color to white, table design, give it shading. I go back to home, change case, upper case. I build it up and finally I highlight this so I can do the shading from here immediately after highlighting and the font color I choose it from here. I make it bold. Now I go to change case. And I change it to uppercase. Perfect. Going up, I want to increase the rows of the tables and also reduce some of the columns from here. Okay. Now I select the whole of the table. Next, I go to layout and the table tools and I'll increase the height to 0.7 centimeters. I do the same thing in here. here as well next I format this table so I take this column to this match and lastly this perfect I can still increase the height of these two tables and finally perfect but I don't want it in two pages. So what I'm going to do is I go to layout and I click on margins, then choose narrow. But you see that I have some space in here after choosing narrow. What I'm going to do is I just click inside this table. Then I go over to layout, go to auto fit, then choose auto fit window. I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the rest of the tables. Okay, maybe the titles in here, I can change the color. So I go to font color and I choose my green. Awesome. I'll zoom out. Perfect. And now my meeting minutes template is done. And that's it on how to create a meeting minutes template. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, Kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.